What's up my cosmetic cravers? This is Melody and you're watching Melody Knows Makeup. Welcome back everyone. So to start off this look, I'm going to be using NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. Now I'm just using a white eyeshadow from the 88 BH Cosmetics color palette and setting that in place. All eyeshadows I'm going to be using today are from that same exact palette and now I'm going to carve out a iris using a soft warm brown. Once I'm satisfied with that, I am starting to carve out my pupil with some black eyeshadow. Next, I'm taking my Snazzy Room Face Paint Palette to detail and highlight my iris. If you have trouble with this part, I was using a reference from Google. It'll definitely help you find realistic placement. Highlighting and specific placement of shadows will definitely give you a more 3D effect. Be sure that when you are shadowing that you're dipping your brush back into some water. So keep some water next to you so that your colors don't get too muddy. Next, I'm just carving out my top and bottom lids until I was satisfied and I took some of that soft warm brown and covered the perimeter of the eye to give a drop shadow effect. Now I'm just carving out some rays for my awakened eye. If you have trouble with this part, keep some concealer nearby. You can definitely carve out the rays to your liking. Now I popped on two pairs of lashes. For the next eye look, I'm using two transitional brown shades and popping a soft purple right on top. For this look, you'll definitely be creating a halo eye. You can refer to my first video if you'd like for a more in-depth explanation for the sake of this video's time. Again, remember to layer because it's going to give you the most depth and the most detail. Next, I'm taking some shelf liner and tracing the shape of where I want the eye patch to go. Once I figured that out, I just went in with some Nazaru black face paint and traced the entire perimeter and area, including some black eyeliner in the waterline. And don't forget to set that with some black eyeshadow. Now I'm just taking some dual eyelash adhesive and gluing the shelf liner down. Next I'm going to be using my glue and tissue method to create fake skin. Just because for this look I wanted her eye patch to appear as it has been worn pretty much forever and it's now a part of her. Once you're satisfied with the placement of the tissue and making sure that the edges are nice and smooth, you're just going to take some concealer or foundation to blend it in. And once you're finished with that, again with some soft browns, purples, black, just to give it a more bruised appearance. 
Make sure to get inside the creases. Don't miss any spots. Now I'm just taking some cheap <laughs> Dollar Tree blood and spreading that over the entire eye. Don't get it in your eye, around your eye I should say. <laughs> and uh, go ahead and get messy with it. Play around, smudge it around. Now to complete my second eye look, I'm just taking some craft glitter and gluing that down to give it a rayed effect just like the eye on my forehead. Now I'm just popping some highlight on. This is just a pink eyeshadow and some mascara and eventually I did pop on some falsies just because mascara was not enough for me. This is definitely optional guys. Now I'm just taking my Wet n Wild lip pencil and filling in my lips. And then after that I just pop on some wine berry color lipstick. And that completes the look. So I hope you guys enjoy. And as always, don't forget to keep craving and keep creating. Until next time.